everybody welcome to my channel today we're going to discuss about correspondence analysis using our software and correspondence analysis is similar to that of principal component analysis or pca but pca is focused on continuous data while correspondence analysis works on qualitative or categorical uh, uh, data so um, for sake of this tutorial you have to use the factor minor the factor extra the g uh, plot so i already uh, loaded or uh, called as a package so you have to you have to do in a similar way like uh, me and again we are we will use the data house tasks so let's see the house task data so uh, here is the uh, wife alternating husband and uh, jointly and uh, the remaining or the row are represented by the uh, the tasks like laundry, main meal, dinner, breakfast, eating, dishes, and etc. So uh, the first step is just uh, to check whether the rows as well as the columns are statistically significant or not. So in order to do that, you have to use the chi-square test uh, method. So simply you can assign any name that you want here. Then you have to use the chi-square.test function and immediately you have to submit the uh, data so tap this and send it to our studio then as you can see here the uh, the cascade value is around uh, 1944.5 9, and the degree of freedom is 36 while the p value is 0, 0.000 something so it's statistically significant there is a um, significant difference between the rows and uh, column so in the facto uh, in the factor extra package or in the factor uh, minor package, uh, the computation of correspondence analysis is using CA, which is capital. So it's followed by the uh, data name. So our data name is house tasks. Then graph is equal to false. If you say true, the graph will be displayed. If you say false, the graph will not be uh, displayed. Then you can also uh, get the eigenvalue using get underscore eigenvalue and this eigenvalue helps to select the number of dimensions that to include to our analysis so type this and submit to our studio then you will get the eigenvalues and using the two dimensions that means using the two dimensions one and two it is the uh, the cumulative variance is around 88 so no need to include the um, three dimensions so uh, including the two is enough or alternatively you can use the script plot so in order to uh, see the script plot you have to use the function fviz underscore script plot then immediately you have to indicate the uh, res dot c that means the result of the correspondence analysis what we created here then add level is equal to true then you can limit uh, as either 0 to 100 or 10 up to 50 whatever you want or it depends on your uh, data so type this and send it to our studio so as you can see here especially script plot uh, you select when the uh, point uh, the point is uh, just the choice elbow or bend so when you ever see here is straight then it's tend to what to bend so including the first two dimensions is enough and it's sufficiently uh, uh, good to represent all uh, or the remain or uh, our uh, data so but there is no um, rule of thumb but you can uh, use uh, this uh, technique then if you want to get row variables row coordinates as well as row contribution so you have to use the following things for example if you want to see the row variables you have to use the get ca then here is row but if you change row into col col so you'll get the column in one so you, if your interest is to get the uh, the row variables so you have to submit this to our studio and again uh, if you want to uh, see the coordinates that means the coordinate for example you can the row variables is obvious yeah here are the uh, obvious, for example, the coordinate, there is a cosine, there is contribution, there is inertia. So among that, let's see the coordinates. So in order to see the, the coordinate, you have to use the row. What we created here, then assign the dollar sign. For example, if you to get the full uh, coordinate, type this, yeah, then you can get in this way. 
But if you are interested in some parts, the first six observations, so you can get in this way. Then again, the cosine square uh, or the quality of the factor map in order to get that one. Again, you have to use row and use a dollar sign and select the cosine square from our R. Then you will get this one. But if you are interested, the top six value, top six value, uh, so you have to use the function head. And in similar fashion, if you want to see the contribution to the principal component, or to the axis, so you have to use the contribution, then uh, here the row, use dollar sign, then the contribution. Yeah. So you can get uh, all, for example, laundry is 18.28 contribute to the dimension one, but it is 5.56 to the di dimension two, but this contribute to the dimension three, to the dimension three is 7.9. So I so think laundry is highly contributed for dimension one and what dimension three but in the case of uh, main meal it is uh, contributed firstly in the dimension one which is 12.38 and followed by dimension two which is 4.7 and list for dimension three so by this way you can get the um, the contributions of each row uh, to the columns so by this way you go to the principal component or to, to, to the dimensions so if you were interested to the top six you can perform in this way. Then, if you want just to represent the row values into the graphical way, so you have to use FVIZ, cross band analysis, and only to include what? The row point. So, in order to do that, you have to use this row. So, type this and submit to our studio, as this is obvious. And repel is helping us what? To, oh, it, it helps us to avoid. Uh, text overlapping. So type this and send it to our students. Then you will get the uh, row pointers correspondence analysis. Then, uh, if you want to represent biplots, that means including both the rows as well as the columns, so you have to change here instead of row, you have to use a biplot, and all things are similar. So we are expecting both the columns as well as the row. So let's uh, say something about here. For example, here uh, the uh, driving and uh, repairs is mm, done by husband. While here is uh, uh, laundry, main meal, breakfast, dinner uh, are performed by what? By the uh, wife. And uh, in the case here is holidays, finance, insurance, and the remaining things are performed by wife and husband jointly. And here is official uh, by uh, alternating. So in this way, you can represent. Moreover, moreover if you want to draw the asymmetric plot that means you will add the uh, values for example uh, before going to that let's say let's add one more tip for example here uh, husband is the point that are positively uh, contributed uh, uh, to the dimension one while the wife is negatively uh, contribute to the dimension one and the opposite quadrant if you if you get the opposite quadrant that means they are negatively uh, correlated. So let's add a row. We need to add the row. Use the same function, FEVIZCA, by plot. Then you have to indicate, here is obvious, then the map is row principal, and you have to use the arrow is equal to true and true, and you have to avoid text overlapping, you have to use the repel function is equal to true. So we are expecting the arrows. Yeah. So the arrows that are furthest from the origin, like uh, here in the holidays, they are highly represented the factor map. Again, if the angle between the row and column is acute, there is a strong relationship. For example, holidays and uh, jointly, holidays is a row, jointly is a column, so there is a strong relationship among the two. But if it is wide or greater than acute angle, their relationship become weak and weak. So by this way, you can uh, interpret uh, this correspondence analysis. 
Then let's show you uh, the remaining um, methods for computing of the correspondence analysis using our software. The second method is the, uh, C, the uh, CA method, or you have to use the CA uh, package, so you have to load this package to your software. So simply just uh, call the library uh, for uh, call the package CA, then just run using the CA function, the host tasks, then you can get the square of eigen values, the co row coordinate, the column coordinate, and again, it's a plot in this way. Let's skip to the third method. And the third method is using the dudi.coa, which is built in the ADE4 package. So if you have in this package, you have to load or you have to install from the CRAN. And if you if, if you already have this package, just call the package and submit to our studio. Then in order to do that, you have to use dudi.coa. Uh, CRA function. So type this and submit to our studio, then uh, you'll get the square of figure and values. Again, here row coordinates, and again also here column and uh, coordinate. And the fourth method is using the AFC, which is built in the AN or a map uh, function. So if you haven't again, just load or install to your software, and if you already have this packet, just submit to our studio, then you have to use AFC function. Then submit this one, then again you can get again values, uh, row coordinates, column coordinates, even you can plot. Yeah. Then the last one is using the function of uh, CRASP. CRASP, as you can see here, you have to use the function of uh, CRASP. Then uh, this package is built in the mass package. I have uh, package so just call simply using the library function then you have to use a function here is crasp then your uh, data name so type this and send it to our studio then you can get the square of eigen values uh, row coordinates column coordinate in the plot so this is all about uh, uh, correspondence analysis using our software. As usual, if you have any question regarding to my tutorial, you can address me through my email, gmail.com or alternatively, you can use my YouTube comments box. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.